All right, my people, I'm back again. Your brother, everything. You know me now. So, you know, the last time I tell you how the president of Ghana, how he, you know, before they have about three weeks lockdown, but the lockdown is finished now. So, he give a speech. Everybody to go about his business, his own business, whatever you are doing. But in the fiction of this, many people they ask question because if you know this virus is not yet finished, I know it's not easy to stay at home. It's not easy, but you know, in Africa, it really is not easy. So after that, people people go out. Everybody want to work, want to go and do his own business. But according to the according to the the journalist, the police, they said they will go, go one of the biggest markets in one part of Ghana. So you see the, the market was overcrowded. But it's not easy to stay one place, then you can see cannot go in the market to go and do business if you have your daily bread. It's not easy. So after they opened this market, so the market was so crowded. So the government, he decided to close this market again. You see, because they are speaking about social distance, social distance. But it's not easy. This kind of market, people to to be have social distance, because you're supposed to go to this place, you go and buy your stuff. This is where I go and buy your stuff. So, although it's really good when the government speak about social distance, it's really good. But this kind of market, I can show you the market. Even you see for yourself, you know. This market is not easy to be to be having the social distance because it's very big market. Then it was crowded. Then what the president do is really good because he cannot be able to feed. Even he put all many measures in place, telling some people by increasing the salary of the workers and. To tell you nobody can pay like bill, nobody can pay water, and he only provide the face mask for his for citizens. Congratulations to him, the president of Ghana. He have done well. Then the, ret the restriction of the lockdown, that was not bad. But you know, since the market to be social distance is not easy. It's not easy at all. The, especially this kind of market I saw. So it's not easy. But I think the government, when the virus is not yet finished, they still need to put some measures in place. But does it mean they're supposed to close that market? Because that market, that play those people, they're supposed to be their survival. So if you close that market now, meaning it don't make it don't make sense, then it will disturb the least people. So you only need to put some men on the plate and continue to speak with the people for this social distance. But the action doesn't mean that the way I said the people are speaking, it's supposed to close, it's supposed to close, it's supposed to close that market, nobody cannot go to that market. It's not, it's not good. I'm supposed to speak something like that. Because those people, in that play, they find their survival. The only support to speak with them, they can continue with this social distance so that they cannot be contact each other. Because all of us, we understand this virus is really dangerous. So, the reopening, that is good. But 
you need to sensitize people, people to know. What I like to show you, you see, then you see the market also. Then before we go forward. Consumer market, popularly called Wednesday market, is the biggest market in the Bono region and attracts traders from within and outside the region. Despite education from the Sunyani Municipal Assembly on the need for social distancing to curb the spread of COVID-19, most traders have disregarded the directive. The Sunyani Municipal Assembly's Security Council, in collaboration with the Sunyani Traditional Council, resolved to close down the market. As a result, well, as we all know, Sunyani or uh, Buno region to be precise, we haven't recorded a case yet. And uh, oh, there is an adage which also says that prevention is better than cure. For that matter, we have to make sure we find out some satellite markets and then uh, move the whole market here, being the Wednesday market, to such places to also uh, enable us to adhere to the social distancing. For that matter, we have this um, uh, Jubilee Park. The Jubilee Park there, we have put this second-hand clothing sellers and then those who sell bags as well to that place that they should go to that place and then sell. And then we also earmark the near for that place too. We've earmarked that place for those who sell shoes and sandals and that kind of footwear and co. And we also have the Sunyani Coronation Park where we ask that all those selling food stuff like the plantains, cassava and co. Yam and co all should go to that place, including veggies, the veggies or vegetable sellers. And then we also have a daily market. The daily market too, since we are moving all those people that I've mentioned of to the various uh, satellite market places, that place, the daily market will become a bit special. And then uh, those who are having stores at the daily market, we ask them that they should stay and then they sell there and display their wares there. Inspector Robert Obin Aye, security coordinator at the Sunyani Coronation Park Temporal Market, has been sharing with City News the challenges authorities face in enforcing the COVID-19 safety rules. From next week going, when they come, we will sack them out. The, 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 the people here are so much that we can't even space them out. What we are trying to achieve, we are not getting, we are not achieving it. Next week going, they are not coming here again. When you are from Tetima, look for a place and sell. When you are from Bekun or Kumasi, be there and sell your things there. And then those in Sunyani here will also be here and then sell. Some of the traders also shared their views on the new arrangement. I had a yabaha no, and I'm a sell mumu yen to know. Yabaya to Tiasa, Tofuan, Tiasra Mumua, Yamoya, Ebabuayeno. Say that Dan Muhani Yanko Naja Mobe, I may at not in a year. Tias Ram can also be a boy. Had ye, your boy, at the Tiasa Yantoshi, Madaroma, to Mumway, why, yes, Ramo. I am going to say, 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 I am going Ejano, <laughs> So how soon we move beyond China? Baby, I have bought Jubilee Park. Hello, we move to Maya. That that yesterday we move. We move far home. Am I here? So we can adjust. We can come and see the day. We can touch him and the day. So as you can see, this is the situation of that market. But according to my understanding, it's like they have a lot of market within the within the territory within that region but i think that place is the biggest market within that within that city so these people from this small 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 market i think if all of them came that market they can able to sell their their food stuff 
I think that is the problem why the market so so crowding is what I understand. Then I'm only appealing to the government then to put things in place. But you're not supposed to remove even those people come from another market to come and sell their goods. Maybe their areas, some markets in the village. So no, it's not everybody went to the village to go and buy food stock. If they know this market is a very big market in, in, the, in the particular city, all the people, they go there and buy their, their food stuff. So I'm appealing to the government. You only need to extend that market for the people because I think that market is a popular market within that region. So I'm appealing to the government to, to extend this market for the people so that the market cannot be congestive. Understand? So it's what I'm what I'm trying to appeal. The security personnel, I really appreciate their work. I, I know 